Sometimes you just cannot find the right words. No matter how hard you try, the words that you want to say just kind of don't really make it out your face hole. And this happens specifically when speaking to the opposite sex, because ladies have a way of completely flooring you and leaving you unable to say anything. But luckily, just like a picture tells a thousand words, so does body language. Human bodies are oh so complex and we cannot control the majority of things that we do. Our body is pre-programmed to just do things. This affects our body language and depending on what personality type we have, this will affect the way that we engage with our body language. We can use body language to seduce our crushes, that's right, seduction, without having to use words. It is possible, just takes a little bit of practice. And in today's video, we are going to go back to basics. We are going to be exploring the many different types of seductive body language. So once you have seen this video, you will be able, well, to practice and wow any lady. So let's get started, shall we? Number one, facial expressions. Facial expressions can be oh so powerful. Someone sitting, looking bored, is not attractive or even seductive. And if someone has a serious facial expression, you feel as though that you have done something wrong and that they are not the person to enjoy fun things. You want someone who is giving off the impression via their facial expressions that they are having fun, that they are interested and a little flirty. Smiling. Smiling is a universally attractive facial expression because when you see someone smiling, you can't help but smile back. It's very, very contagious. Smiling is a form of seductive body language. And if you are on a date, smiling and having fun, then your crush is gonna want to do the exact same. She will feel at ease with you. So you can use your smile to tease them and to joke with her as well. Practice your seductive facial expression. Everyone has that one really sexy facial expression that they do, and this is going to depend on your personality. For example, I'm quite bubbly, which means that if I smile, I pull my eyebrows up. And on a date, this is my seductive facial expression. And I used to date this really sexy man that he used to angle his smile sideways. I can't even do it and <laughs> maintain eye contact, but it would drive me wild. It was incredibly sexy almost like a wink but with a smile and every time we did it ugh, i would melt and it really worked it definitely seduced me and it made him seem dark and mysterious and i wanted to know more about him so my tip here is to practice your seductive facial expression you might already know what it is and that's great but if you don't practice in front of the mirror and use it on your next date no words needed just that sexy face eye contact so I did touch on eye contact previously, but eye contact can be so seductive when used right. Maintaining eye contact is important for flirting. When it comes to seductive eye contact, it's about the execution. If you're in the middle of talking about something serious, seductive eye contact won't work. And if you are talking about how you really like her black dress and you maintain eye contact, that's hot. The most important thing to remember is to be subtle with the eye contact though. Too long and it's a bit creepy, too short, she's gonna feel ignored. Somewhere in between, the sweet spot is what you're aiming for. And this is something that if you need to, you can practice in front of a mirror or with a friend. Posture. When it comes to seductive body language, posture really does matter. Closed off body language and turning away with your arms crossed or slumped over a table, well, you guessed it, like this, not very seductive, but leaning in towards someone, moving in whilst they speak and facing the person whilst they speak are all great ways of seducing them. Obviously, not only are you closer to them physically, but you would just feel that spark. And you can do this whilst they are speaking, meaning you are seducing them without any words and instead using their words. Scent. You might be wondering, Anna, why are you talking about scent in the same video when you're speaking about body language? Well, scent is incredibly important. It's a non-verbal seduction technique. So if you are wearing nice cologne, it shows your crush that you look after yourself. They will also associate that smell with you. And different smells stay in our memories. We don't forget them. People are naturally attracted to certain scents. So make sure to wear some on a date and she will absolutely love it and then associate that smell with you. 
Let's talk about the subtle touch. Subtle touch, like touching your lady's upper leg or her arm, is a great form of seductive body language. When you are looking at her in her eyes and leaning in, touching her arm would really show her how interested you are in her, and she will most definitely get butterflies. Touch is extremely important when conveying sexual interest, which is the main reason that you want to seduce your lady, right? Make sure to keep it subtle though, as when you do seduce your crush, a lot more touching can come across a little bit creepy, so just do it every now and then. If you can and you're feeling it, you can use your lips. Slightly licking your lips or subtly biting them is very attractive. It draws the other person's attention straight to them. And it's sexy when you do it. And all a girl can think about is how much she wants to kiss you. You could also touch your lips with your finger like this. This really does drive ladies wild. And if she does it back, it means she's imagining what it's like to kiss you. It's a form of teasing and girls love it. Leave her wanting more. If you understand this, you will be a seductive god. Don't give it all up on the first date. By using seductive body language, you have shown a lady what is to come. You have given her the first hint of what it is you offer, so she's going to be intrigued. She wants more and is drawn into your natural mysterious nature. She will want to keep coming back and keep going on dates with you. So be seductive with your body language, but don't give it all up too soon. And the same goes for the conversations. Tell her just enough about yourself, but not so much that she knows everything so that she keeps coming back and asking you questions. Be good with your hands. Get your mind out the gutter. Women use hand gestures and, well, they use them quite a lot. It's one of the biggest ways they communicate. So you might notice that when you talk to them, they are very expressive with their hands. They expect you to do this back to them. So practice your hand gestures too. Now I don't mean waving your hands around like a sim, but just using hand gestures to illustrate a story that you are telling would be enough. For example, guys, if you are telling a lady about your favorite meal, you could do a hand gesture that represents eating and cooking or the whole Mwah, beautiful. If the story is funny, this will work really well. I personally love a man that is good with his hands. It definitely seduces me and it leaves me wanting more because I know he's very good with his expression, therefore I see him as more intelligent. Your outfit. What you are wearing can greatly affect your posture. So if you are in a smart shirt, you are more likely to sit up straight and this is gonna make you look like you are paying attention. Because if you are in, say, a tracksuit, you are more likely to look uninterested and very slouchy. So what you wear on a date is oh so important. Smart clothes are more likely to seduce a lady. Slouchy clothes are least likely to make them very interested in you. This, of course, does depend on what type of date you are going on. For example, if you're hiking, then a lady would love to see you in shorts and a top. This must be clean though, guys, and no holes. And if you're out in a fancy restaurant, as mentioned before, a smart shirt and nice trousers works a treat. Presenting yourself in a nice way will tell her a lot about who you are and if you are someone that she would like to be seduced by. And if I'm honest, I have a soft spot for any man in a suit or uniform. Hmm. If you think I missed something from today's video, let me know down in the comments. Give me a huge thumbs up and consider subscribing to make my day. But if you want to get your name rolling up next to my face, like these amazing people's names here, then all you have to do is click the link in the description bar below to find out a little bit more. Have an amazing day. See you soon.